Slot Car News, sponsored by LEB Hobbies, your specialist in home and hobby slot car racing. Hey everybody, that's right, time for news again. We have uh, a number of arrivals this week, as well as uh, a car or two announced, but mostly arrivals. Uh, NSR coming very soon. Two more of the, uh, the 86, 89 Formula One cars, this time the Rothmans liveries. Uh, one of them is a Senna box car, I believe, boxed as an historic release. And the other is, uh, I believe, just a plain uh, regular release of that livery as well. Those both look really nice. And um, I'm not sure exactly when those are coming, but I think fairly soon. Also, we have a pair of absolutely beautiful 720S McLarens. These are mainly blue with the highlight kind of a pinkish uh, fuchsia maybe, and uh, bright green uh, details so you can tell the cars apart. Boy, these are uh, beautiful liveries. Uh, might be the most uh, striking livery. Those are coming soon. Uh, switching gears to Carrera now. Yeah, that's, that's a big switch. Uh, we have... Uh, two cars, well, sort of three that have just arrived. We have a DTM Audi in uh, 130 second scale. This is Evo, which means analog 130 second scale. Uh, this is a really nice looking blue and white livery on this car. Again, this is a DTM car, which is uh, cool to see uh, more in the DTM field because I know there's a lot of clubs that do race DTM Carrera stuff as a distinct class. And uh, it'll be interesting to hear... Um, Folks, thoughts on this car is a DTM class car. See what the uh, performance of that car would be like against the other DTM class cars in the Carrera lineup. We have uh, this Mercedes. It's a GT3 release of the SLS Mercedes that has arrived, or I should say is arriving very, very soon. Um, this is coming in Evo, which is analog 132, as well as a digital 132 version of the exact same livery. Uh, this is a GT3 release, so you know folks know what the GT3 cars are these days. Uh, as a class, pretty pretty cool that people know uh, their class, their car classes, that sort of thing now. And in any case, there you go. This is a pretty striking livery on that car as well. Carrera also have a couple sets that are uh, that are arriving very very soon at dealers. One of them is a nice value set. It's kind of their basic size of set. The suggested uh, layout is just kind of a figure eight, and it's got uh, what cars? Well, it's called the Fast and Fabulous uh, DTM set. Um, not Fast and Furious, folks. Fast and Fabulous DTM set. Um, that's pretty cool. It's kind of a standard uh, small layout, but it's a good value uh, kind of if you want to get started in Digital 132. And uh, yeah, looks like a pretty nice set. The second set, however, has a tremendous amount going for it. Um, first of all, I absolutely love the box art. The box art is kind of a throwback, uh, retro look to the box art. But aside from that, the actual set itself is pretty great because it comes with a really big layout, which is something that Carrera don't often do. Uh, you know, you, you can really count on one hand in the last probably 10 years, the number of times they've released a set that's this large. And as far as track goes, I'm talking about. And the fact that it has three cars in it. When you have a three car set, if you cost out all of the price of all three cars, which is what, $65 a car, I mean, that's basically, you know, uh, $180, $190 worth of cars right there. Um, you're really getting an excellent value because you're getting a tremendous amount of track with this set. So, yeah, <laughs> um, fantastic. That was in my notes as well. And the fact that there are really great cars in this set. You got a Lancia, you got a Capri, and you got a 935. Uh, I mean, if you don't like those cars, the value of the set isn't there for you. But, well, it's still there for you. Just maybe not as not as excellent <laughs> as I think it is. Um, car release to talk about. Well, it's not a release. It's a 
show. Slotted are now showing the uh, Turgal livery, the yellow and green livery on their 512M. They're showing this on their website. They haven't posted it on their social media yet, however. Um, but boy, howdy. I do like me some 512M action from Slotted particularly. Uh, if there was a better mold released in the last few years, uh, I don't know what it is. And this car is so quiet and so fast and so smooth and just stunning to look at. Uh, yeah, it's an absolutely incredible looking car. Lastly, we have something of a, a, a bit of a difference. Now, I'm not sure if uh, how exactly to pronounce the company. So, in Schuldegang from meine Deutsche, it's sehr schlecht. And my English isn't that great either. <laughs> Uh, honest slot, uh, honest slot racing, or honest slot scale racing. It's a German company. I was contacted um, by this guy uh, through Facebook, and he sent me the information about this. This is a tiny, tiny lighting chip for. I mean, it would be great for 132. It might even fit in a 143rd scale car as well. Um, but it's it's as small as a Fennig coin, a penny coin, as you see in the uh, in the photo. I don't have too terribly much information other than, um, well, I do have a fair amount of information. It'll be made in Germany by Onslaught. It'll be one centimeter by 1.4 centimeters, which is like that big. Not even <laughs> available in January. So soon. Uh, it will come with the circuits on the board of, uh, available for four front lights and two rear lights with braking light effect evidently. And yeah, there you go. Uh, details to be uh, announced by Honest Lot. Uh, I'm sure when they have a little more information about this to be made available. And uh, yeah, we love to support our small manufacturers here on Slot Car News. I don't know why I did that. Um, stick with me through the racing and show news and I'll wrap up the video for us. Alrighty guys, um, I do plan on doing a live stream on Sunday, which is Christmas Eve. Uh, I do feel a bit of a cold coming on, so hopefully um, that doesn't get way late in the process. Uh, like, but like I said, I do plan on doing a uh, live stream on Sunday. Um, yeah, I suppose probably next week I'll be working on my uh, how I'm going to do some kind of uh, year-end wrap-up. I don't know about the idea of doing a car of the year. Uh, I definitely will be doing something along those lines, more along the lines of kind of uh, trends for the year or manufacturers for the year or something like that because there's folks that I do want to acknowledge or folks that I do want to give a little bit of more daylight to, I think, that, uh, that deserve it, that have done a truly excellent job or continue to do an excellent job or however you want to put it. Uh, I've been thinking about this a lot the last couple days and yeah, I don't really have a decision yet, but in any case, um, I will have a day or two off next week and hopefully I'll be able to get to another video or two. I didn't really do too many videos this week. It's been a pretty crazy week at work and um, yeah, I still have a lot of cards to get through and hopefully we'll start cranking on those early in the new year. Thanks again, everybody, for all the likes, the shares, the comments this year, and the last week. Uh, the ch channel continues to grow, and I really, really appreciate it, everybody. Thanks again. See you all very, very soon.